Iran excels at replicating foreign tech, especially for platforms that Iran would otherwise struggle to produce domestically, like high-end tanks and airframes. The Totufin is no exception, though in this case, Iran's manufacturing base seems to have found a winning formula and created something that may in some ways be better than the original. Anti-Revolutionary Allies Before the 1979 Iranian Revolution, both the United States and Iran were on friendly terms, so friendly in fact, the US decided to allow Iran to import tow anti-tank missiles. Iran gladly did and even had tow repair facilities built to service the tow missile and its launchers. The revolution spoiled Iran's relations with the US, but Iran already had the technology it needed to maintain and grow its American-made arsenal. The tow and the Tufan copy are wire-guided missiles that are not fire-and-forget missiles but need to be aimed at their target for the duration of flight. At war. During the Iran-Iraq war, Iraqi armor suffered significant losses thanks to American tows. Though Iran attempted to manufacture reverse-engineered copies of the tow, they did not preform as well as their American parent, which were prized for their effective anti-armor capabilities. By the 1990s however, the Iranian tow copy was in business. Like the tow, the Tufan has evolved steadily since introduction, with later variants having increased range and armor penetration. Some even have a tandem warhead to defeat modern explosive reactive armor paneling. The Tufan comes with a large tripod that is essentially indistinguishable from the tow. In fact, the Iranian tow copy is supposedly so similar, the launcher and ammunition can be used interchangeably with genuine tow systems, and vice versa. Tufan. According to CSIS, the Tufan is optically tracked and wire-guided, with an 8-pounder approximately 3.5-kilogram warhead and a range of 2 miles. Thanks to Iran's extensive client state network thought the Middle East, Tufan missiles have seen combat service in Syria, Yemen, and Iraq with Shiite militias, where they've done a number on many tanks. There have been quite a few variants of the Tufan missile in production in Iran. One of the most advanced variants is said to forego the TOE's wire guidance system in favor of laser guidance and a tandem warhead arrangement for punching through more modern armor. According to the Iranian press, the Tufan 5 as this variant is known, is also resistant to electronic jamming, since it essentially rides a laser to target, rather than depending on radio guidance. In addition to enemy armor, the Tufan can also target low and slow enemy aircraft like turboprops or helicopters, and there are apparently a couple Tufan variants that can be used in an anti-bunker role, rather than for targeting enemy armor. As I previously wrote, Iran excels at replicating foreign tech, especially for platforms that Iran would otherwise struggle to produce domestically, like high-end tanks and airframes. The Totufin is no exception, though in this case, Iran's manufacturing base seems to have found a winning formula and created something that may in some ways be better than the original. Israel accused Iran of violating sanctions and submitted photos of the anti-tank guided missiles in Libya to Guterres in May. Just weeks later, Iran wrote to Guterres and categorically rejected the Israeli claims as totally baseless. Based on the Secretariat's analysis of the photographs provided, the Secretariat established that one of the four anti-tank guided missiles had characteristics consistent with the Iranian-produced Alavia, though no production date for this anti-tank guided missile was visible, Guterres' report said. The Secretariat is unable to ascertain if this anti-tank guided missile had been transferred to Libya in a manner inconsistent with Resolution 2231, 2015, the report said. Guterres reports twice a year to the Security Council on the implementation of the 2015 resolution. However, he said in his biannual report, submitted to the Council late Monday and seen by Reuters on Tuesday, that the UN Secretariat was unable to ascertain if this anti-tank guided missile had been transferred to Libya in violation of Security Council sanctions on Iran.
The 15-member council banned weapons exports by Iran in 2007. Under a 2015 nuclear deal between Tehran and key global powers, which is enshrined in a Security Council resolution, the arms restrictions were lifted in October this year.